Hello everybody! Welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be painting these really beautiful and delicate flowers today, so I naturally am not prepared and just mixing my colors right now to achieve a nice purple. And I'm going to be using purple, but you of course can choose to use whatever colors that you want. Um, so, the first thing that we're going to do is just grab a paintbrush. I'm using a size 8 by Grumbacher. And you want to put some watercolor on your paintbrush, but super, super light. And then we're just going to start with, with one, uh, one flower here. And I'm painting on three loose petals that all join in the center. And just make sure that they're, they stay sufficiently wet. Like so. And then we're going to take, I'm going to take a different paintbrush so I don't have to rinse it every time. But I am outlining the outside. of each one and you can even dot the part where they all join in the middle as well and then you can let the watercolor kind of spread out and do its thing um, or you can choose to help it along I'm just gonna let it spread out and do its thing and Actually, no, I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> um, I am going to just kind of not spread it out, but just even it out so it doesn't look super harsh. So sort of like that. That looks much more gentle and gradual, so I'm happy that I did that. And I'm going to move on to the next one here. So again, grabbing my purple, uh, but this time I'm going to do three petals, uh, sorry, four, four petals that all join in the center. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing that I did for that first one, and I'm going to paint the edges. This is actually, this reminds me of this other flower tutorial that I released a really long time ago. It kind of had the same technique where I outlined the, um, the outside. Perfect. So just like that first one, I'm going to switch back to my round brush and I'm just going to really gently blend um, that color so it doesn't look super harsh. And you can probably avoid that altogether if you just use cotton paper. I'm not using cotton paper here, but that looks much nicer this way. And you can basically keep repeating this process, alternating between three petals, four petals. I'm going to do like even sometimes just kind of one petal <laughs> floating by itself or maybe, no, one is kind of odd, but maybe two petals that are attached. Um, 
And I'm varying this because later we're going to be adding some greenery to these. And I want it to, the greenery to connect all of the petals in a unique shape. So um, that's why I'm choosing to do what I am doing. So once again, blending it gently. like so. <clears throat> Actually, I am going to do just one petal because it's not really going to be a petal. It's going to be its own flower. Sort of like that. Once again, taking my round brush and smoothing out those harsh edges so it looks really nicely blended. And you can just keep repeating this process until your piece of paper is covered or you have as many flowers as you would like. So I'm happy with the coverage of my flowers here. What I'm going to do now is um, grab that original pigment that we used to add those dark accents or those dark features and I'm outlining um, just the outside once more. Just try to be careful that your color is, you know, similar to the one that you used because I'm mixing my own color here. Uh, so I just have to be a little bit more careful with that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is again take the the round brush and just um, blend it out a tiny bit and again it's been dipped in water to make it a little bit easier And now it's much more intense than the neighboring ones. You don't have to do this step. You can skip this step if you're happy with the intensity, but I did want to intensify um, my uh, you know, colors. I'm even going to be as bold as to add some black to the very outer edges while it's still wet. Once you're happy with your arrangement, um, we're going to start painting the uh, foliage, the green foliage that's going to really bring everything together here. Um, so I'm going to just start with a very, very light wash and I'm going to paint some gentle um, petals just 
in the white gaps that I see where I feel like it would uh, fill in some white space. So again, it's very, very, very light. You don't want this, this layer to be dark because we're going to go over it with a, um, a darker value later on. I'm content with my flower petal or the foliage so far, so I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to move on to the next step. That's going to really bring everything together. Okay, so now we're going to take a very intense green. So what this means is you have a lot of pigment and very little water. And we're going to begin painting some of the details here. So my individual little flower petals, they're going to be... Um, flowers that are just about to sprout. That's what I'm going to make them. Um, so what I'm going to do is have a very gentle stem that connects to them or almost connects to them with a very dark leaf. And in fact, that leaf is a little bit too big. I want it to be a tiny bit smaller. Sort of like that. And I'm going to have from this flower, it's not a stem, but it's a, a little thing where buds are starting to sprout. So I'll have little oval shapes coming from it to mimic buds. Just like that. I'm not really content with the thickness of the um, of the bud stem, so I'm gonna just switch to a thinner brush, and I'm gonna repeat that again here with this flower. And these are much thinner, so. And then switch back so I could paint the little buds. So you can keep painting the buds, the darker leaves, uh, kind of overlapping the first lighter layer that we painted. And this creates a nice contrast between the two values and really makes those darker features pop. And I want to make my leaves extra small uh, so they match the size of the little bulbs or the buds that we painted earlier. So 
It looks nice and delicate. Once you're happy with all of your little floral details, we have finished our painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, hit like on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.